Hey everyone, it's Suncast, and this video is going to show you how to make a ringtone using a program called Audacity. So now the first thing we need to do is obviously download the program Audacity. The easiest way to do this is just to go in your browser and whatever your favorite search engine is, Google, Bing, Yahoo, just go to that, enter Audacity into the search engine, and usually the first result is Audacity. And it will usually also have the uh, download link right there for you. That's what I did. I just clicked on the download link from the search results. And what you'll see is a screen like this and your option to choose either stable or beta. Either one works. I went with beta. So we'll go ahead and click on Windows. it will have a bunch of information here that really doesn't matter a whole bunch. Just go ahead down to where it says recommended download and click on Audacity Installer. Go ahead and click Save As, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now you'll also need to download another piece of software called Lame MP3 Encoder, which is also on this page under Optional Downloads. So we'll go ahead and click that. It has some somewhat confusing instructions here. Basically, just look for where it says Windows, and where it says Go to the Lame Download Page. I know it's kind of funny. And uh, again, it's a little bit confusing, but I'll show you where to click. Just where it says, for Audacity on Windows. Click the link right be below that. And save the file again to your desktop or wherever you choose. Now once Lame MP3 Encoder has finished downloading, I would go ahead and first install that. And then run Audacity or install Audacity after that. All right, now that we have Audacity installed, we can go ahead, run it, and make our ringtone. Go ahead and go to Start, and All Programs, and you should see it in your programs list as Audacity 1.3 Beta. It'll launch, and it'll have this little, you know, how to get help window. Nothing we really need to pay attention to right now, so we'll go ahead and click OK. What you want to do first is go ahead and find that, uh, or open that, mp3 that you want to make a ringtone out of. There's a band that I really like called Amberlynn. They did a cover of New Order's True Faith. Awesome song. I really like it. So I'm going to make a ringtone out of it. Go ahead and open that. It'll load it into the uh, editor. What you'll see first is basically all these little lines, blue stuff and whatnot. This is what's called a waveform. And a lot of audio professionals will deal with waveforms constantly it might be a little bit um overbearing at first if you're not familiar with a waveform but especially just the audio I'll, I'll go ahead and play a little bit of it for you and so you know what a waveform really is I'm sure you pretty much get the idea now that this is basically the mp3 file that we've loaded in there that we want to make the ringtone out of. Generally, what you'll see is um, portions of the song that are a little bit um, lower than others, such as this section here. It's not as um, high as this section here. Normally, the stuff that's higher is your chorus, and that's what I like to make out of make ringtones out of. So I'll, what I'll do is click here and see if I got the chorus or not. Yep, that sounds like the ringtone or the uh, chorus that I want to make the ringtone out of. Now just for reference, what I'm doing here to play the uh, audio file is pressing the space bar on my keyboard. Pressing the space bar can stop or play the audio file that you have loaded into Audacity. Uh, generally, I'll grab a portion that's uh, just before the chorus and just after the chorus. I'll press shift on my keyboard and use the right arrow key to select that portion. You'll see it highlight a little bit. And that's basically what I want to make the ringtone out of. I like to copy it to a new window so that I'm not actually editing any part of the original mp3. I don't want to, you know, accidentally save the ringtone I'm making over the original mp3 and lose what I had. So we'll go up to edit, copy, and then go to file and new. It'll open up a new window and you can paste what you copied into this new window. 